Be honest, how many of you clean your end cat like this? Because I can tell you from experience, it doesn't work. Hi, I'm Ryan, and on today's episode, we're going to teach you how to clean your end cat hands free. Not cleaning your end cat can ruin your furnace and will lead to much higher repair costs. Luckily for you, the Gordon Tech Show has your back. Now, many of you have experience cleaning out your ceramic filter, but just in case you've never done it before, we'll explain the process now. First, you need to turn off the power. Next, disconnect the exhaust pipe. Then you'll remove the top After shroud that, and set loosen aside. The clamp Next, nuts remove and all of the, the screws plenum. from the top After plate. That, now, make remove sure the front top plate. Then, then remove the top plate. The 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 and finally, do all these steps again, but in reverse. So now that we're all caught up with that, I'm going to teach you how to do this hands-free. There are a few precautions, though, that you need to consider before trying this method yourself. Number one, this should not be performed more than once in between service visits. That's assuming that you get your NCAT serviced at least once a year. And if you don't already do it with Gordon Technical, you should. But ask your service provider which method they use when cleaning out your filter during your annual visit. Number two, this process can increase your draft by removing ash. However, it will not get rid of any rust in your filter. Sadly, this can only be taken care of manually. Did I mention we can do this during service visits? And now, the moment you've been waiting for. To perform the burn-off method, press the temp button and set your chamber temperature to 650. Next, turn off the end cat and press and hold the number 5 key. While holding the 5 key, turn the unit back on. You should see FILSP displayed on the unit. If you don't, Turn the unit off and try again, making sure that the 5 key is held down. Set the filter temperature to 900 and press enter. Next, you'll turn the end cat off and on again. Let your furnace heat up until the cycle chamber and cycle filter lights are flashing. This will take approximately two and a half hours if you don't feel like sitting next to your unit waiting. Once that happens, you'll wait an additional hour before hitting the start button. Run the unit for at least 30 minutes and then hit the start button again to end the burnout. Next, reset your temperatures to where they were before using the technique you just learned. Pro tip, turn off the end cat and hold the number two key in and then turn the furnace back on. This resets your end cat to its factory default settings. I know many of you will be interested in trying this in your lab. And while this is in the NCAT manual, we strongly advise that you only do this once in between service visits. 